Welcome to my new course module Linux for Cloud and DevOps Engineer. Why it is important to learn Linux if you are a cloud or DevOps engineer or if you want to develop your career into the DevOps. A lot of open source projects especially DevOps tools were designed to run on Linux from the start. Git was born out of the Linux kernel community. Docker which you have perhaps also heard of was originally a combination of Linux utilities. Nowadays you can run Docker and Git on other platforms as well like Mac and Windows. But still a lot of new technologies start on Linux. Especially if they are related to software development or managing infrastructure. We know Ansible, a tool for managing servers. Originally started on Linux too. Kubernetes is also a Linux project. So is it hard to learn Linux? It's not difficult to learn Linux basics like logging onto a server, creating and editing files, file system structure and basic commands, user administration, permissions, troubleshooting, instance launch issues, many more topics I'm going to cover in this entire course module. So this course module will help you to learn the Linux for DevOps and the platform I have used is the AWS environment. So all in all, this entire course module will make very easy to learn Linux. So my name is Shikhar Verma and I am the instructor for your complete course module. I am having 14 years of IT industry experience and also a professional IT trainer. My passion is to create online job oriented certified courses. I have been teaching over to 40,000 students online. So without knowing the Linux and moving into the DevOps might not be the right choice. Most of the training technologies in the market like Python, Big Data, AWS DevOps, Azure DevOps, your data science and so on needs Linux knowledge. So starting directly without Linux slow down your learning process. So let's understand what all the topic I am going to cover in this entire course module. So this is my course module and here what you will learn. And this is your requirement. You just need to have a PC or laptop with internet connection. You will need to set up an AWS account. I will tell you how to create an AWS account in this course module. And I have given a brief description about the course module. In the introduction, very first thing I am going to tell you how to create an AWS account and then we'll show you how to create an EC2 instance, Amazon Linux, your Ubuntu Linux and we'll discuss more about the public and private key. So once you will complete this course you will have clear picture about the public and the private key and different tools which can be used to access your AWS EC2 instance from the remote location. Here we have MobaXterm, Putty, Git Bash. So everything I have shown practically. And filter access and access instance using the username and password without using any key. So I have also shown this passwordless authentication from Linux to Ubuntu. And here you can see this introduction lecture or entire course module is scenario based. The next is your Linux file system structure and basic commands. So here we'll learn about the Linux hierarchy structure and few basic commands. User administration. So that's a very important topic. So here you can see the number of lab sessions. Users home directory in Linux. So we'll discuss about the initialization files. So once a user login into a system, so few initialization files will be executed like your dot bash underscore profile, dot bears, rc, etc. So we'll understand about these files as well. The next important topic is permissions in Linux. So this section is a completely a scenario based lab session. So the next topic is troubleshooting instance launch issues. So that's a very important topic. So here we'll understand what are the different errors uh, that we'll encounter when you launch an EC2 instance. The next is very important. This is your EC2 elastic compute services. 
so here i have covered the entire ec2 service number of topics i have covered ec2 ebs volume snapshot ami and elastic ip and a lot of more things the next is very important the system d the system and service manager i have given one bonus topic that is aws system manager so that's a very important topic and here we'll understand about the system manager and system manager agent how to configure ec2 instance using the ssm agent and its role so we'll understand how to configure the patch manager using predefined or you can also create a patch baseline so basically if you want to do the patching you can use this system manager so that's a brief description about the course module so who this course is for it professional across a broad range of disciplines who wants to learn cloud technology or those who wish to learn linux for devops and cloud so here you can see i have divided this entire course into nine sections and total lectures that is 83 and it is of 7 hours and 37 minutes here you can see these are lectures we have so i hope by now you are convinced still if you have any confusion you know the policy 30 days money back guarantee so i believe you are going to join this course module and learn lot of new things about the linux for devops thank you